so i used to be good at singing but i'm not but i like music and i did some experiment with it and i build a uh, a workflow a tool that i used to control my spotify player and so my talk is titled let, let anytime play the music i'm just going to do a quick uh, introduction because most of you all know me my name is hershel i love to experiment with tech i started doing live streams on twitch and i also have created my own youtube channel so please do follow me over there now talking about this talk i am going to show a command line tool that i built to control my spotify player uh, being a developer a command line and a command line nerd uh, i enjoy controlling my apps via the terminal so let me quickly show you how it is so this is my terminal on the left and my spotify music player i'm just going to pl uh, play some music for now and hope that you all can hear that okay so this is running and i am assuming like i see uh, ricardo is nodding so i am assuming that you all can hear the music i am going to run this command right now that is spotify pause and this would pause my player and over here voila so i built this whole thing using a few tools uh, and i use an attend to connect it but let's let's now you know change the song and then play the music so spotify next okay hmm interesting let's just try it again so now we have another song we got the name as well as you know the name of the artist as well so i'm going to pause the song now spotify pause all right and now let me come back to my slides so the workflow is very complex let me tell you beforehand well no i was just kidding it's a simple workflow uh you can see over here it's hardly uh i don't know 7 to 8 notes not more than that but let's look uh what tools i use to do this so i am a javascript developer so i decided to you know create an npm package that i can use uh to control my spotify player now there was this uh, option of how do i connect my spotify player with my npm package now i'll be honest with you all i i, I try to avoid writing a lot of code whenever i have the option and just go the uh, no code low code path and that's where anet uh, comes into the picture so using anet i connect my command line tool with my spotify player and the last thing you need is of course a spotify account now i'm going to explain you the whole process of what goes on behind the scenes so i run the command it makes a request to anet and anet intercepts the request it tells spotify to play the song pause the song or whatever command i ran then spotify the spotify player performs that particular action again anet and then you know creates that response that we saw so we got the uh, name of the song as well as the name of the artist and then we display the message so what happens over here we run the command the uh, the orange box is over here uh, shows anet n so anet n intercepts the request tells spotify what to do spotify player does that action and then anet n sends back some information to a terminal and then the terminal displays the information so talking about the features that this particular uh, command line tool has it has this very nice help command which can give you the list of all the commands that i have for now integrated so you can see there is the option to play a song pause the song change the song maybe go to you know the next song in the queue or go to the previous song and then if you do a uh, spotify curl it gives you the information of the current song so all this information again is just you know a webhook recall to an atn and it then does the process over there and and then it uh give uh, displays it out on the terminal let me again share the workflow over here so the if node over here it just checks if it the command is start music so if the command is start music we go to the true branch we get the current uh the current id of the uh, song and then we just tell spotify to play that song and in the set node i am just getting the uh, name of the song as well as the artist 
And if the command is anything other than the uh, start music, I dynamically pass this operation in any 10. So whatever the command is, it will uh, dynamically be fetched and the operation is been recognized over here. And then I get the ID, perform the operation, and then it's just a set a uh, step over here. Again, the set node is similar to the previous one. Just get the song and the artist name. So yeah, that's it. So there are a few features that are that I want to work on for this. A few of them are is to you know, just play the song from the given name. So let's just say I want to hear a song by Ed Sheeran, uh, and the song might be Photograph. So I say Spotify play Photograph. And then, you know, it goes to NA10, finds that song and plays it in my Spotify player. So that's one of the features that I want to add. The another is to, you know, get the list of all my playlists, the ability to select the specific playlist, and then, you know, uh, play the songs from that playlist. So these are the two features that I uh, still want to add. But if you have any other features, and if you would like to try it out, you can always check it, uh, check out it, check it out on GitHub. I'll be sharing the link in the chat soon. So here's the GitHub, it's open source. You can try it out. I have listed all the instructions as well on how you can install it. And if you just want the workflow, you can get the workflow as well. 